Hi guys, today we're going to do a comparison video of Lip Tinted Sunscreens. Now this is the original Hue Guard and this is their new release Hue Guard, which is an invisible stick. Let's talk about the differences, how they look, different price points, and which one would be right for you. The original Hue Guard, the 3-in-1 Mineral SPF 30 Moisturizer and Primer. This costs $32, they do have a jumbo size for $58. This is a non-nano zinc weightless formula that blends seamlessly into the skin, giving it a natural glow with no white cast on all skin tones and types. And the new Hue Guard Invisible Sunscreen Stick SPF 50. This is a clean, clear sunscreen stick, is water and sweat resistant and conveniently purse friendly for easy reapplication. It's a clean chemical broad spectrum SPF 50, zero white cast, reef friendly, hydrating, glossy dewy finish, makeup friendly. And it costs $28. The biggest differences between these two is that this one is a mineral SPF 30 sunscreen and this one is a chemical SPF 50 sunscreen. First, let's go in with the moisturizing one on the right side. Now, I'm remembering since I've already reviewed this before I think last year and I've talked about it a few times. This is one of my favorite SPFs. Now someone mentioned that it has a smell to it. It does have a slight smell too and that's the reason why that person didn't like it but it is fragrance free. Both of them are so just kind of keep that in mind. This is what it looks like. Again I'm just going to be doing one side so you guys can see how that looks. I honestly can barely even smell it and that might be because I'm just used to it but this is one of my favorite sunscreens from last year. As you can see no white cast a little glowy but not too glow where you look greasy looking it just feels nice on the skin like it doesn't feel drying it just makes your skin look really good and before i forget the moisturizer contains 1.7 fluid ounces and this is the hue guard stick just turn it up and it's so similar to their serum that i love so much and as you can see this is what it looks like and this contains 0.77 ounces i've been wearing this for a week now and at first i was really worried because I'm like, oh, I don't want this to look greasy on me. Someone who has like oily skin. I was just worried. But in fact, it really doesn't look that way. But also doesn't feel that way. So I was more worried about the feeling of it. It definitely gives more of a glow than the other one. It's a little tacky, but still very thin. It's also very easy to apply. I didn't see any kind of pilling or anything. Because again, that was another thing that I was worried about. But keep in mind, I wasn't wearing any makeup or anything. I was just like this. And I just reapplied it hours later. I personally don't smell anything. Again, it is fragrance free. Compared to the other one, I really can't smell anything. So this is what both sides look like. Both sides, very pretty. Now, if you're trying to figure out what's best for you if you are more concerned about having a higher spf or maybe you just like when products are in a stick form but you don't like to deal with greasy hands even though this one doesn't feel greasy at all then maybe you'd enjoy the sunscreen more and if you're doing any water activities and you just want something so simple like i'm thinking of my friend's boyfriend from last year, he loves stick sunscreens for that reason because he doesn't want to get his hands all sticky. This is the product for him. It's especially since he has fair skin, freckles, he needs to be replying his sunscreen. But if you want something maybe not as glowy, a little more moisturizing, then I would go for this one. For me, I personally like this one when I'm wearing makeup. But if I'm just doing swimming, nothing else, and I just need a sunscreen, I'm not wearing anything else on my skin, then I would go for this one. I know it's going to be hard to choose but I think I would go with the OG just because I like that it's not as glowy. I like the finish of it. It's not tacky or anything. This one makes a little more sense for my lifestyle and preferences. So I hope this quick review is helpful. If you want to see any other lip tinted reviews, I'll leave that in the end card. And before you leave, like this video, subscribe to this channel for more fashion and beauty content. I'll see you in another video. Bye!